Hello, it's Hannah Bird with Hannah Crafted Gifts, and I've got another DSP unpackaging for us here. This is the, I already forgot the name of it, <laughs> Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper from the upcoming January to June mini catalog. Um, this is part of the Fine Art Floral Suite, which is my favorite suite in the new catalog, and that is saying something, because there are a few that I think are really extra special. Um, but this was my birthday present to myself, this suite. So I am looking through the paper for the first time. All I've done is um, open the plastic packaging and pull the whole stack out so we can look at it together. So you can see one side, um, I think one side of all of these is gonna be florals. And I mentioned this in my initial unboxing video where you saw the rest of the suite. Um, I believe this is hand painted by Stampin' Up! Artists. Um, you can see it has great texture. It looks like oil paints to me to get that. Um, thickness and probably the use of a palette knife um, which I know because my mom's an artist she's begun experimenting with that anyway they are somehow able to photograph or scan their original artwork to create this paper for us which is really great so flowers on one side oh my gosh I almost love that side better <laughs> as much as I love the other one um, so more subtle just uh, single color and pattern I like this lattice type pattern we're gonna see throughout but I love the variation really looks organic um, like art is so those are the first couple sheets let's see what's next all right so there's the next floral side roses and then ooh, and we've got yellow on the other side I believe that's bumblebee let's check all the coordinating colors by the way I can almost remember them um, <laughs> but we're just gonna look so bumblebee is correct and then flirty flamingo oh Mary Merlot mossy meadow night of navy old olive petal pink pool party poppy parade pumpkin pie so saffron and terracotta tile as well as whisper white okay so that is a surprise to me um, the reason being in the catalog for every suite, they show you a handful of colors that are, I guess, the focus of that suite, but not the only colors necessarily, um, which makes a lot of sense because sometimes you look at DSP and you're like, there's a lot more than just a couple colors in there. Um, so the primary colors that are focused on in this suite are, let's see if I can recognize them all as we go through. Bumblebee is one of them. Flirty Flamingo is one of them. Um, I believe Petal, nope, not Petal Pink. Poppy Parade is one of them. Pool party is one of them. I can't remember, uh, but it's only like half of those colors. So anyway, interesting that there's a lot more than that uh, in the paper. I like that variety. Again, love that side. That's my favorite side on that one for sure. Some beautiful pinks. Florida Flamingo really grew on me. I think that side's petal pink. And can you see like the palette um, brushing on or just kind of slapping on <laughs> the paint. I'm sure slapping on doesn't make it sound very uh, expertly done, which I'm sure it is, but um, that's like the texture, the embossing floor that this suite gives. I guess that's that's got more variation than even just petal pink in there, some little shades of pink. All right, this one's probably my least favorite, but that's okay. See what I like on the other side, yes. Really swirly, almost reminds me of like churned water, like the ocean waves. All right, I like this one a lot. I knew I would when I saw it in the catalog. Oh, and again, I just, something about that. It reminds me of the, um, is it the Tasteful? Oh no, what is that paper called in the annual catalog? It was my favorite thing in the annual catalog this year. What tasteful textures. In Good Taste. In Good Taste Designer Series paper had some um, palette painted pieces like this as well as like wood grains and um, textiles like carpeting almost. Okay, this is my absolute favorite. Knew it would be. Look at the colors. Oh, I just love that. By the way, I just realized I didn't tell my husband I was filming this. Um, so you might be hearing him in the kitchen. Sorry. <laughs> and there's Chandler. Here he comes to to check things out. Whereas this is probably my other least favorite, but that works out well because I know that there's nothing that could have been on the other side of that paper I would have liked more. All right, so that is one thing I wanted to show you. What is this one called? The Golden Garden Designers Specialty Acetate. So these are clear sheets, like window sheets. 
And here, actually, let me, um, hmm, let me think of the best way to show you these. Maybe I'll move, move all that. And I'll put one at a time on here. How about that? Because when they overlap, it's hard to uh, really appreciate the pattern. Okay, so there's a great floral pattern. You can see these are shiny, like foil gold. Oh, that's right. I have to move it. <laughs> I have to move this one to show you the next one. I feel like I'm doing those, um, what were those called? Like projectors in school? <laughs> Does anyone else, is anyone else old enough to remember that? <laughs> Where they would put the uh, transparencies. Isn't that what they were called? And they would write on them and it would project onto the board. This was like before smart uh, technology, <laughs> smart boards and computers. Okay, so this is gorgeous. And you can tell perhaps that this goes with my favorite sheet of DSP. So check this out. This is my first time seeing this in person, but I did see it done in the catalog and in some people's samples who got their order before I did. Oh my gosh. If you weren't already sold on the suite and that didn't just do it for you, then I guess we just have very different taste. <laughs> that is the coolest thing I have seen in a long time. And that's saying something because Stampin' Up! is always bringing me cool things. All right. And there's the last one. So you only get three sheets. Um, it's not a lot. I thought you got more than that. But I'll tell you what, well worth it. And for the first time ever, I might have to buy a second pack, even though that is so specialty and not inexpensive. But I just cannot get over, let me show it one more time, the way these line up. I think the other floral one lines up with another sheet as well. I'll have to find that, but oh my gosh. I just want to frame that and put it on my wall. I may have to do that. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching <laughs> um, and bearing with my wonder. Um, please subscribe if you like this video and would like to see more. Um, you can also like it and comment below. And as always, happy crafting.